Hi, I'm here to talk about a new item I got from 2015 All-in-One on eBay and um, it's a really useful little item that comes in many different shapes and forms but essentially it's two strain gauges um, in a Wheatstone bridge and the one I got here today is pretty much just referred to as a load cell and with this one when you bend when when you have one force there and one force there pushing in opposite directions this bit warps and the two strain gauges in the Wheatstone bridge uh, will give out a very small voltage that is amplified by this module right here which at its heart is an HX711 and out this outputs um, the amplified signal from the load cell through the ITC protocol and that is connected here to a Tinsy 3.2. This may as well be an Arduino or any, any other kind of um, microcontroller that you prefer or even a Raspberry Pi. Um, and what I've got is um, a sketch here compiled um, from SparkFun and it's quite a simple uh, library which is just called the HX711 and I'll put the links in the description below along with the links for the load cell here but um, these these load cells come you can get them in disk forms or or you can get them in this form and it's say if you did want to um, weigh something or have some kind of pressure sensor you can either have like a uh, false door on the floor that one edge will be um, connected like so and the door would come and put weight on this side which bends there and this particular unit um, can output uh, uh, out can sense up to 20 kilograms but you can uh, get them that go up to one five ten or even a hundred I've had one co uh, coin sized one um, that has worked up to a hundred but they do get more expensive the heavier they can uh, sense and um, or another way you can connect this up is uh, through the Z shapes. So you can actually put two screws here and two screws there, spaces on this side, and then connect that down, and then spaces on the top side here and connect that to a, another flat plane. So you've got two flat planes with this connected in the middle with spaces here and spaces here. And then when pressure is applied on the top or from the bottom, there's always going to be some warp here. And this load cell will sense that. And you can, as I have got in uh, my um, sketch, an, uh, an output for uh, kilograms out. And you can calibrate this uh, to get uh, it to be quite... Um, accurate readings on the output so yeah have fun with this you can use it say if you want to know when your cat's eating your food or when there's someone at your doorstep or when you want to even if you want to like weigh yourself weigh your food any kind of bathroom scales would use something like this um, but in your bathroom scales there'll be one on each edge of the rect uh, on the square surface where and that is uh for um single strain gauges in a wheatstone bridge and on this one it's exactly the same thing but the wheatstone bridge is just laid out in a way that is uh senses weight in, in in this smaller area so um if you go ahead and upload the code you'll basically see that the output when you bend it this way or well, that way changes and if I can do this with one hand and show the camera uh, move the camera then let's give this a go so um, right let's give this a go so here I've got um, readings and when I bend the sensor with one hand and the other edge on the table you can see that this value changes and when I flip the um, sensor 180 degrees it actually gives 
the different sign readings but pretty much the same numbers as you would expect and you can scale this however you want and do whatever you want with this it's quite limitless and um, and the code is really simple I mean we we have the HX711 library and you just tell it where the ITC pins are and on the uh, TNC 3.2 they are uh, on A4 and A5 the calibration factor you can find in another, in another um, sketch you can actually figure that out for your exact thing but um, for your exact load cell but uh, I find this number is always quite uh, accurate and um, you have a function that you'd use a lot called tear Tara, I don't know how you pronounce it. Basically, this just zeros whatever you're at. You can think of it as your kitchen scales. Uh, if you're weighing your food, but you don't want to weigh the bowl, you'd put the bowl on, then you'd press the zero button. This function is exactly the same thing. Um, this function just sets the scale, and and it's really just a matter of scale dot get units. And as I said, I'll put links to the item. Um, uh, on in the description, and I'll put uh, links to the Sparkfun and Adafruit uh, descriptions where you can find more details about how the Wheatstone Bridge is formed, and more information on the uh, the sketches and the libraries there. And I hope that this was useful in getting you up and running with a load cell. Cheers.